Temperatures were above average today with a high of 81 degrees. We hit that number at about 3 o'clock earlier this afternoon. This morning we start off at 66 and it looks like we'll stay above average as we go into the majority of the upcoming week actually. Temperatures were in the 80s in many less spots. We were in the 70s out across the island and right now it's still pretty warm. The current reading is close to 80 in many spots like right here in Central Park where the reading is at 79 degrees. We're at 80 at Newark. It's 75 down the shore in Belmar and even up in the Hudson Valley feeling pretty warm in Poughkeepsie with a temperature reading of 70. At this late hour, all of these numbers warmer than they were at this time yesterday, and our dew points are reflecting a little bit of mugginess in the air, and that will continue to be the trend tomorrow as we are expecting heat index values in the middle to upper 80s in many spots. Winds nice and light, but we do have a southerly flow coming in that's going to help bump up our heat and humidity across the region. Temperatures will be rising into the 80s once again as we go into the afternoon hours. A look at the satellite radar shows that we're relatively quiet and dry. Off to the north, though, we do have a, co a cold front that's hovering over the middle part of the state here. That's helping to ignite some showers and some thunderstorms. And there is a marginal risk for some strong storms up in the Hudson Valley tonight, probably northern portions of Sullivan, Ulster, and Dutchess counties. For everyone else, we're under the influence of high pressure, so that'll keep things quiet for us tonight and predominantly for most of tomorrow as well. A quick check down towards the tropics. We're checking in on tropical storm Nicholas, which is working its way through the Gulf Coast right now. Its winds are at about 40 miles per hour, so it's a weak tropical storm. However, it does have a lot of rainfall associated with it and it's expected to move that rainfall into portions of Texas and Louisiana as we go into next week. In the meantime over here we're seeing nice and dry conditions for the most part tonight. Again to the north we could get clipped with an isolated thunderstorm or a shower passing through. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up with plenty of sunshine. It'll be a warm start to the day too. Temperatures rising into the middle to upper 80s. In the afternoon we'll see some clouds filtering in the sky when the sun sets tomorrow night and we'll also see the chance of a couple of isolated showers but I think the main threat will happen overnight night where we could get a couple of passing thunderstorms rolling through here during the overnight hours and some of them could be strong to severe. As we go into Tuesday we'll start out with plenty of sunshine once again a few high thin clouds. There'll be another front in our vicinity that'll be passing to the north here so we should, should stay dry for that day. In the meantime the Storms Prediction Center does have the northern portion of New Jersey under a risk of severe weather for tomorrow and again I think much of that will be happening during the late evening hours into the overnight into early Tuesday. So tonight Tonight will stay pretty quiet. It'll be mild and muggy with a low of 72 expected in Central Park. And then tomorrow, we're going for a high of about 85 degrees. Now, there will be a bit of a haze in the air. We are seeing some smoke filtering here into the northeast from some of the wildfires out west. You kind of saw that today with the hazy conditions. We're expecting more of that tomorrow. We'll have some very light winds, too, coming out of the northwest. Isolated shower possible on Tuesday, but I think we'll see more rain likely Monday, uh, Wednesday morning. Rain for sure on Thursday. It looks like it will end early on Friday and next weekend. And I think Sunday looks to be the drier day.